20th of July 2023. In this news flash I'm going to talk about the stupidity of people. Stupid people make stupid decisions and then they are surprised when the results is a fuck up. Listen to this. Allies main effort for Ukraine shifting from donating weapons to fixing them. The emphasis of the West has shifted from the supply of new equipment to the Ukrainian armed forces to the repair of existing ones in a sign that the conflict could last for months or even years. Politico writes. At the same time, Senate member J.D. Vance told Fox News that the United States does not have enough ammunition for itself and should stop supporting Ukraine at least until the situation is corrected. Now, I've got news for this guy. If he thinks this is going to last for years, he better make sure that the West has got enough soldiers to feed into that meat grinder because the Ukrainian soldiers are basically done. They are almost out of soldiers. But let's look at the other side of it. This change from fixing equipment to sending new equipment, the West is fucked. They allowed the Greenies to start a program of deindustrializing the West. Now, if you want to build military equipment, you need big, dirty factories. And those big, big, dirty factories use steel. And that steel comes from big, dirty steel plants. But all that shit has been closed down. Those millions of people lost their jobs and those factories are standing there empty. You can go, look in the US, look in the Europe, look in England, at all the relics standing there. And all the weapons and shit that they've been sending to Ukraine in the past year was built in those factories that are now relics. Didn't happen in Russia. Russia scaled down its factory, its factory uh, output, but the factories were not destroyed. In, the factories were actually modernized. And Russia has got a strong workforce. They've got a strong work ethic in their country. And they don't look down on people that is qualified in trades. Not like the West, where everything must, must be warm and cushy and sitting behind a computer playing with the keyboards instead of standing in a fucking hot furnace heating steel with a hammer. But that's the West. Now they're spinning all sorts of shit. They're out of stock. The Ukraine sucked them dry. And they don't have the capacity or the ability to replace what was lost. Now they want to make a story of the stop sending ammunition until they can rectify the position. It's a fucking joke. I read an article about a factory in one of Europe, in the European countries. That said, yeah, they can make, a, I think, 500, 155 millimeter ammunition per month, provided they can get cellulose from Russia, they can get gunpowder from Russia. It's a fucking joke. The only thing, there's only one thing left for the West to do, is for that stupid brain-dead leadership of yours to get onto a plane and fly to Moscow. But first they must clear the flight plan, otherwise you're going to get blown out of the sky. And stand in front of Putin and say, sorry, we fucked up. How can we fix this? And that's all. And then they must wait for the answer. But this track that they are on, they're going to wipe the whole West out. That's what they're going to do. And you Europeans, you sit there and you think, you are the clever people, you are the intelligent people, you are the civilized people, you are fucking stupid. Look at this. Raise tax on red meat and make plant-based alternatives mandatory. Leading scientists advise the EU Commission. That fucking EU Commission is a Politburo. Get it into your heads. You're a communist bloc. 
Get it into your heads. These people, that fucking stupid for the crazy, she is going to make the decision that this must happen and then you are screwed and you can do nothing about it and you will eat that shit that they're going to feed you because you allowed them to do it. You allowed them to do it. Right in front of your eyes, they turned the prosperous European countries into the fucking EU bloc and then that EU bloc was slowly converted into a fucking communist bloc. You, the citizen sitting there in a, in a valley somewhere in Switzerland with your cows, you think you count. You count fuck all, man. Your vote counts fuck all. That unelected Politburo in Brussels under leadership of one of crazy, she will decide that you are going to go this way. You are not going to eat meat, you will eat alternatives. Alternatives pumped full of shit that you don't even have a clue what it is. But you allowed it. And then you want to come and preach democracy to us, the so-called third world. You don't have a fucking clue what democracy is. You live in a communist bloc. But Khrushchev said that back in the 50s already. The West is going to turn into communism. And they'll do it slowly but surely. And in the end you're going to believe that your democracy is so sacred. Meanwhile it's a fucking communist system. You don't have a say. You're living in a valley in Bavaria. You don't have a say. You're living there in Italy in the mountains. You don't have a say. And you that sit here smiling with your purple hair and a ring through your fucking nose sitting there in the city, in Paris, you don't have a say. You will do what Brussels tell you to do. And if you don't do it, you're in trouble. And then we get to this fuck up. The triple X is slowly but surely with the green parties and all and WF and swap and all these fucking cronies has slowly brainwashed you into this green shit and you destroyed your fucking power plants and today you are in a desperate energy fuck up. And exactly what happens? Listen to this. Bill Gates powers up a bit to build new nuclear reactors in Britain. What the fuck is that? I'll tell you what that is. Stupidity. Stupidity. They use that green plan to de-energize you. And now you will accept anything that they offer. And all of a sudden, Bill Gates' nuclear pl plants is not going to be dangerous to an environment of that fucking Greta Thunberg. Where the hell is she? You people are suffering in any case. Your living standards in Europe is diving. You are energy starved. But that Politburo sitting there in Brussels, heads of the E USSR, are pumping your money into the Ukraine to impoverish you. And you must go and look what is happening in Canada with euthanasia. Go and look how those laws have been changed already. Way back in the 60s, when I was a youngster, there was a movie, Soylent Green. I suggest you go and fucking research that thing and look at that movie. That is where we are today. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.